Hi everyone, welcome to the Legend of Zelda, A Link to the Past walkthrough. Um, this chapter is going to cover the final dungeon, Ganon's Tower, and uh, let me tell you, it is the hardest dungeon in the game. So, from Turtle Rock, since we have everything else, all the heart pieces, um, we can just head left. And you'll see enemies here called Lionels. Um, you can actually use your mirror shield, it will deflect their little thing, so if you would have stumbled across these before, um, you would have saw your shield wouldn't have um, taken the damage, but um, I uh, and also your little sword beam will not hurt them either. So note that um, there'll be three of them here along this little bridge here. So take care of them and then keep heading left until you see a huge tower and it'll be glowing. So once you get to the middle of it, a little cutscene will go and all the little uh crystals will start to float around and they'll create a passage into Ganon's tower so um again there's many ways to do this dungeon um since there's so many rooms in it but uh, uh another thing i want to let you know this is a very difficult dungeon um it's just one of the hardest dungeons i would say in zelda um that's just my opinion so um but everybody has different thoughts about it. So first, just go to the top left and hop, um, go down the stairs there. There'll be some red Stalfos, and you'll see a key there. So just dash into the little key thing. Make sure the little electric ball isn't on top of you. And then uh, grab the key, and then head left. Don't head through the key door just yet. In here, um, grab the key in the pot just south of your position. Um, pull out your hammer. And there's a really easy way to hit these things in. If you go really close to them, you actually won't move. And then if you uh, stop, you'll just get taken around the little circle. So do as I do there. And when you get back, you can push that block over. And then you'll be able to head to the door on the right. So do so. In here, um, you'll see that you're going to need to use your hookshot, so use your hookshot for this. Um, once you've made your way to the bottom of the room, um, you'll see a little spike trap there. Um, try to hookshot when the spike trap isn't going, and then just walk up a little bit. And then hookshot over to the other one. So um, here, take care of the red stealthos. Um, and then you can lift the pots if you want. There's nothing under them. And then head to the right. Or, yeah, right. Um, step on the star at the bottom to make it easier to go around. And then get the map. And another, you know, this is a difficult room. But just make your way through. And then um, go left. Now you can slash these, and um, I tried to do something here, but it didn't really work. And uh, you want to, um, you want to make it red before you go into the next room. So you can either throw your boomerang at an awkward angle, or just put your um, bomb right next to it. Either way, it doesn't really matter. But um, I couldn't get the uh, thing to work with the boomerang so here um go down and grab the key in the bottom right and then you want to place a bomb so that it only hits the first um the first can't stress that enough the first little orb thing because if it hits the second one it's still going to block you in there so then you can just head um then you can just head right and go through the portal hit the orb and then <laughs> I just dashed down, hoping I wouldn't get caught here. It's probably a good idea to use your uh, magic cape as uh, what just when they're about to get near you. Otherwise, I'm pretty positive you're going to get hurt here. And you'll see a little block that doesn't go. So use that and then pull out your hookshot and hookshot over to the treasure chest over there. So um, once you do that, open it up for another key. So you should have two. And then head down. In here, um, take the left 
left warp, then head through the next warp, the next warp. In this one, take the warp on the left, okay? Can't stress that enough. Take the warp on the left. Then take the warm warp at the bottom left. After that, um, head all the way across, and now you're in a little bit more open area, except just kill these spiders by making them fall into the holes by using your sword beam if you have full health or your hook shot. And then you want to head up and head into the warp up there. So um, you can lift the pot for some arrows and then head to the warp up, and now you can leave this area through the right. Um, in here, the uh, spiders are kind of annoying, so try to get rid of them without um, without uh, falling. And there's also some helmosaurs in here too, so take care of them. Now when you go up here, you'll see two skull pots and you'll see a bunch of spiders on the little area. Lift the top skull pot. Top skull pot, not the bottom one. Get your fire rod out. Head up. And you're going to want to light this torch here. Now as soon as soon as you light the torch, quickly pull out your hook shot, hook shot down, and make your way around the room. You can do this when the light is not lit, but um, it's easier to as you can see the path. So um, either way, if you think you're good enough, you can do it that way. You can also use ether, which will show it. And now you'll be in another room. Um, if you need some health or something, uh, somehow, I don't know how, but um, I have I didn't lose any health by this time. Um, you can just stock up on fairies and things with the anti-fairies as we're going to meet an old friend down here. So open the chest for 10 arrows and then place a bomb right next to that. And then we're going to fall down the hole. And um, we're going to, like any classic Ganon's Tower, we're going to meet our old bosses. So not all of them in this one, but our old friend, the Armos Knights, is back. So this time it's a it's easier and harder at the same time. You're on ice, which makes it harder, but it's easier uh, in which you have the silver arrows. So silver arrows, one hit each. So you don't have to waste your time uh, shooting them three times. So when they go into line mode, it's probably easiest for you as you can hit them uh, like three at a time. And the last one is the hardest part, probably. Um, charging works really well, and I get really lucky there. Looks like skill, but it's luck. Trust me. Um, that I just shot an arrow out of nowhere, and it hit him. So then you can go up, grab the big key in the bottom chest, and it'll give you some bombs and some arrows in the top two chests. Um, so there you go. Uh, it shouldn't have been too hard of a fight with your silver arrows, but uh, if you did have trouble with it, that's okay. Um, then you can just head here. If you dash to the top, you'll, re you'll reveal a hole, and it'll bring you to a little area for fairies. And one thing that I learned here is that you can get fairies with your boomerang or hook shot, which I didn't know you actually could do that before. So grab uh, fairies, fill up your health, and if you have an empty bottle, you know, put one in there. Then you want to head up the stairs here. So uh, from here you'll be in the big chest room, and um, you want to dodge the uh, dodge the fire sticks and grab the dungeon item, the red mail. So this is even better than your blue mail. It'll protect you even more by breaking down the damage by half again. So now. All enemies do one fourth of what they originally did. Much, much, much better than your blue mail. So, um, not a required item to beat the game. So, if you're Daredevil, by all means, don't get it. But uh, I highly suggest getting it, as this dungeon just keeps getting harder. So, um, then, just do what I did in the walkthrough. Um, you're gonna want to use your Cana Samaria here and push a block onto the onto the um, little switch there, and then pull out your magic cape before you go into this next room. Um, 
definitely the probably the most annoying game or annoying room in the game. Wallmaster flying things. Whenever you use your sword, um, you get a beam of fire shot at you. Plus, you have you know that you have the uh, little anti fairy at you. So expect to take a lot of health in this room, and that's just fine if you do because this is a very, very, very annoying room. Um, once all the tiles are gone, you'll get a uh, treasure chest with a key in it. And then I highly suggest grabbing that uh, anti-fairy as you probably don't have much health left. So, um, once you grab the, um, once you grab the fairy,